Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to make this video today to talk a little bit about customer service, specifically with Astro Gaming. I just had a uh, dealing with Astro over my headset that I got. If you guys watched my review video for my uh, A40s that I got, um, you guys realized that I got the Xbox One version of the headset and I'm a PS4 player. So I reached out to Astro and asked them, is there anything we can do? Can I trade my mix amp for a PS4 mix amp? And I just want to go out on record here stating that the customer service that I dealt with um, from Astro Gaming was phenomenal. These guys really know how to treat their customers and I really could not have asked for a better, smoother transaction. And yes, I did get the PS4 mix amp. Look, it's right here. It just came in the mail today and it's brand new. There's not a single scuff mark on it. Still got the plastic film on it. Haven't even peeled it off yet. I probably won't peel it off. I like to keep that on there. I don't know. It's a weird kind of thing I have, but um, I'll probably peel it off at some point eventually if it starts getting dust under there somehow. But anyways, I got it. And there was really no troubles um, at all getting it. And I'm just going to go over it right now with you guys because I know some of you guys have issues like this and have been thinking about reaching out to Astro and seeing if you can trade your mix amp for a different mix amp depending on which console you have and whatever. Um, I don't think this will work for everybody. Like I don't think you just you know email them or call them up and be like, hey, I got this mix amp. It's for PS4. Can I please trade for an Xbox One version? And they'll be like, okay, sure. No problem, buddy. Send it in and we'll send you one back. It doesn't really work like that. So I reached out to them and I explained to them that I had won this headset. I didn't buy it. I didn't go out and purchase the wrong one by accident or anything like that. I won this headset. So I did not have a choice which one I got, which I think that adds to it a little bit. Um, so I did tell them that I went through, I tried different things to see if I can get it to work on the PS4 and it just wasn't working. Now on my original Xbox uh, mix amp that I originally had, I did not take this plastic film off, which I think also helped my case. I told them it's in mint condition. I've only used it a few times. The plastic film's still on there. There's not any scuffs, no marks, no damage to it whatsoever. So they had me send them screenshots, pictures of the device. So I had to take a picture of the front, I had to take a picture of the back where the serial number is so they can see, you know, I guess validate that it's not a stolen unit or I, I really don't know why they wanted the serial number, but they wanted the serial number. And uh, then they said, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to treat it like it's a warranty return, a warranty exchange, and we're just gonna do a color swap. So unfortunately, the biggest downfall, and it's not really much of a downfall at all, but I had to pay to ship the device to them. And that cost me about $17 to ship it to them, and it got there in about two days, which isn't too bad, okay? So I packed it up myself, shipped it down there, 17 bucks out of my pocket, not a big deal. They got the product, like I said, two days, like two days, maybe three days later. And they emailed me back. There was a lot of email correspondence. They were very quick to respond to me, very quick to let me know they got the product. They had their, the product in their um, Q&A department. They were testing it, making sure that it wasn't a broken product. Um, and just by the way, the only thing I sent was the device. I didn't send any cables. I didn't send the headset back, just the mix amp itself. That's all they asked for. That's all I sent. So they did all the testing. They made sure the device still works. It's not damaged. It's not broken. There's nothing faulty in it. They sent me an email again confirming that the product I sent them is a working product and that they will start to process the return of um, my new mix amp within a day or two. So the next thing I know, a day goes by. They send me another email saying, hey, Vile, your package is in the mail. Here's a tracking number. You should be expecting it within, I think it said seven to eight business days or something like that. And this was, what day is it today? It's Tuesday today. So I think this was on Wednesday of last week, give or take, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. I think Wednesday of last week. And Monday here yesterday in Ontario was a holiday. I don't know if it was a holiday anywhere else, but it was a holiday here. So mail doesn't run on holidays. So you got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then today at noon, the package was delivered at my house in my mailbox. So the turnaround time for this whole thing in total was about a week and a half, you know, uh, including email correspondence. But I just gotta say, it was such a smooth and pleasant um, experience for me. And I honestly didn't think that they were gonna actually do this. I thought they'd be giving me some 
sort of reason why you know you can't exchange it because of this or because of that or you know whatever but they were so helpful and you know they were so willing and so you know glad to do this exchange for me because you know I was stuck with this this headset that I really couldn't get much use out of I mean I have the Xbox one but I still do like 99% of my gaming on the PS4 so I just want to give a little shout out to Astro Gaming. Not trying to kiss any ass. I'm not looking for any, you know, partnership deals or any sponsorships or anything like that. I know I don't that's kind of those cards are out of my reach. But still, I think, you know, even in situations like this, if you have an experience like this with a company, it's good to say that. It's good to let people know that this company is a good company to deal with. At least for me, I had a good experience with them so far. So, I mean, I really have nothing bad to say. If you watch my review, of this headset, then you'll know that I gave it a glowing review. I gave it a 10 out of 10 because this is the bombest headset I've ever used. And I've had to revert back to my old Turtle Beach PX4s for the last week or so because I haven't been able to use these ones since I had no mix amp. And I mean, the PX4s are a great headset. I, I still cannot say that they aren't, but man, did I miss these Astros. Did I miss them? You know what? I'm just gonna put these babies on just because why not? <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to go back to sound touring. Oh, look, I got the white headset. The black mix amp. I'm like a big Oreo. Look at it. It's like an inverted Oreo. Okay, that's a little weird maybe. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to like share this experience with you guys. Let you guys know exactly how I went at it. Um, just to let you guys know, I went on the website and contacted the support um, email that's on the website. That's how I reached out to them initially. And like I said, it was like, Within a day, I had a response, and then after that, it was just email correspondence back and forth. Very fluid, very smooth, very friendly. The customer service, A-plus in my books from Astro. I had a great experience, and hopefully if you guys have any issues like this, if you guys wanna trade in your mix amps, I don't know exactly if they'll let everybody do this, because like I said, there's a certain circumstances that I had, such as me winning this as a prize, and the fact that it was like basically in mint condition with the plastic still stuck on there, I think those things really helped uh, their decision in allowing me to send it in and you know exchange it for the one that I actually need and want. So with that said, Astro Gaming, great customer service, at least on my part. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So thank you all for watching and checking in. If you have any questions, if I forgot to mention anything, I don't think I did, I think I covered everything basically, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer as many as I can. There'll probably be like none, maybe one <laughs> question, if any. But uh, that's it, guys. I'm Vile Self. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, villains, later.